We will soon be arriving on Mercantile Base 1, a subsidiary of the Mercurian Corporation. Unlike most other planets, due to Mercury's hostile environment, the governing bodies at hand are not that of the people, but rather a collection of corporations collaborating in extraction efforts to mine and harvest the planet. From what we can tell, systems in this region are strictly controlled and regulated, so we and our terrestrial compatriots have not been able to uncover much information about this base or other bases like it. Regardless, we do know that it is strongly advised to wear a protection suit in order to guard against deadly radiation and heat. So please, as we land, be safe and reconnect humanity. Oh, that's strange. You are on your own this time. Where are your two little friends? They don't want to visit Mercury? Well, that's strange. They certainly seemed the adventurous types. Well, I guess that just means you won't have to deal with their shenanigans, will you? Oh, am I being harsh? I couldn't tell. Anyways, since you are so close to the sun, in order to go onto the base, you will need to wear special protective gear to guard against the radiation and heat. I'm assured you know that by now. There are some over there. Um, once you put it on, you should be free to go, and remember... This place can be dangerous due to its position, so please stay safe. Oh, uh, hello there. I didn't see you. Well, I, I'll be getting back to work. Don't worry about that. Please, I just wanted a little bit of a break, but I swear this is an exception. I don't typically do this, but now I'll get back to work right away. Uh, d just please, please, don't tell anyone. I don't want my pay docked again. What? What do you mean? Aren't you a manager? I mean, you are dressed prestigiously, but now, on closer look, I guess you don't have the Mercurian insignia. Phew. Thank soul you aren't a manager. I hate those guys. I was riding my back, looking for a reason to raise their profits and got my own. I'm an honest working man. And they, well, they haven't earned a single one of their pennies. They were born into meteoric wealth, and it ain't fair. What sort of question is that? Of course they are born into their wealth. That's how space travel began. Or at least space colonization. With your average Bezos or your average Musk, who could afford to go to space. They had the wealth. Others didn't. They brought others to see these far-off planets. And those people had their hopes, their dreams. They wished for new opportunities, but they were placed in great debt just to have any of that. Generational debt, even, which was ultimately enslaving. And, as these places were outside the jurisdiction of Earth and the UN, nothing could be done. But would the nation of Earth, united together, have done anything in the first place? No, they wouldn't. They didn't even care for their own people, and that's why they collapsed. The failures of capitalism and the revolution of the workers. Oh, 
thank you. Um, I am very knowledgeable, or at least I would say I am. I'm a planetary historian. Or, at least, I would have been if I wasn't born here. I've been studying the history of the peoples as they spread across the solar system. In particular, I studied the condition and bondage of the working class and how solar expansion affected them. I, you can probably guess why I studied that, but it was really difficult to get a lot of the information that I have. The Curian libraries are expensive and extensively censored. Man, I hate this place. Huh? What do you mean? You can take me away to a better place? <sighs> like that could ever happen. You would have to be one of those earthlings who has just been taking people away from planets. And last I heard, they were long gone. The Gain Federation had recalled the vessels that they had contacted. What? You are an earthling. Well, you certainly don't have the insignia of any recognized planetary force, and you certainly aren't dressed in any common man's suit. Perhaps you are an earthling. It makes sense, I suppose. Wait, does, does that mean you can take me from this wretched place? You can? Well, come on, take me. I want to leave this place so much. Please, take me. What? What do you mean, am I in debt? I sound like I might have debt issues. Well, that shouldn't matter, should it? Your ship's already disobeying commands, is it not? What? What do you mean those ships that returned, returned because their missions were done? And you're telling me there are still ships out there? <laughs> this can't be. Are you telling me I've been misinformed? Uh, well, anyways, it shouldn't matter. That's just one bit of misinformation. The rumors that you are gathering extraplanetary humans to join your crew is true, is it? Yeah, see? It, it is. It is. So what should my debt issue have anything to do with that? Look, I can get... I can bring value and knowledge and resources. But more importantly, the first two... Let me just get out of this place. I have to talk with my boss? Uh, no, uh, you can't do that. I mean, you don't need to do that. I'm here right now. I can go. There's no need to talk to anyone else. Exoskeleton? I can get one. Just please, let me go. Trouble with the Mercurians? No, 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 definitely not. You definitely will not, I swear. I can swear on it. No, I'm not trying to trick you. Please, just listen to me, please. That's enough. No, I'm not talking to him. I'm talking to you. This man is clearly in distress, and you are trying your hardest to remove him from possible opportunities. That ain't right. His material condition don't make him any less of a human. Come on. Go get your exoskeleton and we'll free you from this joint. I've been here long enough to hear. I know Mercury. I wasn't just gonna stay on the ship I just wasn't going to go with you. I have a vendetta against the elite of this land. Venus, although it has its problems, I can tolerate, but Mercury, I cannot. Yeah, I am upset at what you tried to do. I thought you were better than that. I thought Earth had gotten better than the stories of old, but 
If it hasn't, if you haven't, I don't want to be a part of your mission anymore. Because then your mission is a disgrace to all I and many Martians like me have tried to grant to all of humanity. Hmm. That's a believable story. Afraid of consequences. I suppose I can grant you that. I will just have to see what it's like on Earth, won't I? In the meantime, to alleviate your fears, because you are my friend, and I don't want you to be stressed out, I'll tell you this. I will officially vouch that that Mercurian is a Martian, just like me. He should be able to pass like that. He's got to have an exoskeleton just like me. He'll have a weak bone structure uh, comparative to other planets just like me. Not just like me, but very similar. So does that sound good? It does? Alright. I have my exoskeleton. Uh, where do I go now? Just follow me. Oh, he hello. I just saw that Martian walking back with a Mercurian. They seemed awfully excited. Uh, but he told me that he would go ahead and sign him in and get him a room. Uh, I'm not sure how protocol that is, so I'm just going to ask you. Is that okay with you? Does that sound fine? It does. You didn't seem too confident in that answer. All right, fine. You are sure? Well, I'll just help you out of this suit. We are planning to leave for our returning journey, so you probably should get back to your room. Oh, hey. I didn't think I would see you again. How are you doing? Why, yes, I did bring him back here. Is that a problem? A lot of people, I know, but come on, we're friends. You, me, my little Mars bar, and his new pal. What did I say about saying that around other people? I know. No, I, I found him a spot to sleep. You don't have to worry. Uh, speaking of which, I heard that we will be leaving soon, so I say we call it even and go to sleep. All right, that's what I thought. Attention, passengers and crew. I would like to formally welcome another Martian, Hermes Nata, to our crew although he seems to live on the Mercurian station. He will be helping to manage certain areas of storage on the ship. So please, welcome him in his labor with kind arms. Continuing on, we are finally drawing this journey to an end. We will be returning to Earth as we have visited all the populations of the terrestrial planets and have connected with them to a sufficient means, thus finishing our goal. And with this in mind, we will be returning to a newly reformed Gaian Federation, the old political union between Earth and its moon. However, with that being said, much of our original political architecture will still remain intact. I would like to issue a delightful thank you 
to all of our fellow terrestrial humans in aiding this endeavor as you have provided a great amount of valuable information and skills. We thank you for aiding our reconnection to humanity. With that being said, we'll be blasting off soon. Hopefully, we may once again return to the stars as a united crew. But, of course, that may not happen. Regardless of either outcome, we are going to be leaving in T-3, 2, 1. Blast off.